Hello YouTube! Uh, lately I've been going through some of my old Minecraft worlds uh, and I thought it might be fun uh, if I walk through one of them with you and uh, we take a look at what we've got here. So this world uh, is actually from 2012. Um, I was just in it earlier today looking at it. Um, let's see uh, what we have here. And this is I think right when they first introduced super flat worlds uh, so it's the first one i ever worked in i just built a whole bunch of big buildings all over the place uh, and i thought it'd be fun to uh, take a look at that with you guys and uh, we can kind of reminisce together about what minecraft used to be and uh, uh, the good old days um, so this is just the facade uh, of a building uh, which i was working on um, and I'm going to go ahead and just go to peaceful mode so that all those slimes over there don't kill me. Um, but I was working on uh, uh, just using different building materials to uh, make a building that looked realistic. And one of the things that I really enjoy about Minecraft is building at actual human scale. You know, you can build yourself a little shack to live in. It'll meet all your survival needs. But it's fun to make uh, large buildings um, that are, you know, something that you would see in real life. Um, and so I built these two guys, uh, and I don't remember what that is, uh, over there. I mean, I think I have a memory of what it is, but, um, it didn't actually become anything. And there are just little things scattered around all over the place here. Okay. So, um, we will, uh, just proceed through here. And for anybody else that wants to do this, the conversion process seems to be really weird and imprecise. It just leaves random chunks out. A couple of times I've tried to load this map up and uh, just this wall, like, you know, 20, 30 blocks of it will be gone. This whole facade was gone. Um, and it could be that we're at the boundary of a chunk here, but just be aware of that. There are some weird things that go down um, when you uh, go through that conversion uh, process. Um, but I, I walked through part of this building before and... Um, and like I was saying before, I, I just love building at human scale. Uh, it's so fun, um, especially when it's something that you've built yourself. But it's just so fun in Minecraft to walk around and uh, interact with buildings that you could actually, you know, see in real life. And I don't think a real theater would have this narrow of an entrance. Um, but uh, I don't know. You know, this is this is 2012. You'll have to forgive me uh, for any inaccuracies that. Uh, any architectural inaccuracies that you might hear, but uh, we've got our hat and coat check that leads down here to the basement where all the supplies are. This is a theater, by the way, uh, so you'll see the stage in just a moment. Um, but uh, uh, it just leads down there. We've got uh, the billiards room here uh, with our pool tables and our pool cues and, and chalk and balls. Um, We've got uh, uh, the Lady Walker Ballroom, for some reason. Um, this is a bar over here where Garçon can get us milk or water, depending on what kind of vice we're, uh, we're feeling like indulging in that particular day. Um, and then over here we'll see that uh, the band is not able to play tonight. Uh, so instead I ask that you enjoy this recording. Um, you'll notice that a lot of the things in my inventory here uh, have 111 of them. And that's because, like I said earlier, this is from the glory days of single player commands. And then you'll also notice this wooden axe, uh, which is um, the tool that you use in World Edit, uh, or that you used to use. I don't even know if World Edit is around anymore. Um, but this is how you would set uh, boundaries for what you are uh, going to be um, interacting with. And World Edit was just a fantastic tool. Oh, look, there's another building of some kind over there. We'll go take a look at that later. Um, I think that's for a map that I was uh, going to be making. Um, but World Edit was just a fantastic tool. And I'm going to make you all listen to Melohi because that's my favorite Minecraft record. Okay, that's actually really loud. Um, so anyway, uh, World Edit was fantastic because it just let you... It was such a powerful tool. And together with single-player commands... Um, I just, I, I, it was so fun and so easy to build big structures like this because with single player commands, I, I, it, it just allowed me to kind of create my, to make my own creative mode. 
Uh, the reason I have 111 of all these things here is because in single player commands you could set any item in your inventory to have an unlimited quantity. Um, this is a lecture hall. Look at my little lectern up there. Uh, pretty fun. So if, if you placed on any of these things back in the day, um, it, would, it would replenish itself. Um, now, if we move something here, it's going to break. It'll separate into a stack of 64 and 47. Um, uh, but single player commands was cool that way. Um, but what was even better was you could customize your move speed. You could customize how far you could reach. So in creative mode, you can't reach any further than you can in survival mode in Minecraft. And that's obviously a big limitation because you have to move around all the time. Well, single player commands, I think my favorite reach was 16 blocks. So I could just, you know, da -da 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 -da, place down a, a row of blocks here. No problem. And I, I really preferred its flight model as well. Creative mode flying is so floaty and imprecise. Ooh, what's back here? Oh, this is the stage. Oh, I think I remember that I built like a, uh, what are these for? I seem to remember building, yeah, here we go. So you can turn off all the lights here above the stage if you want to do that. But I don't know why you'd want to do that. Um, and where does this go up here? It's just so fun to explore these old maps. But anyway, single player commands flying mode was a lot less floaty, and so you could just do a lot more with it. Um, and it was it was just a lot easier to fly around very precisely. You could increase the flight speed, um, so you could just zip around and and go exactly where you wanted to go. And uh, so in in create in single player commands flying mode, you flew straight forward no matter where you were looking. So. In uh, creative modes, flight, you have to hit, uh, you know, spacebar or shift if you want to go up or down. But you don't need to worry about that in single player commands flight mode. And that was broken when they updated everything to run kind of like a server. You know how when you uh, uh, load up even one of your single player um, maps in Minecraft now, it, it kind of like starts a miniature server. And that makes it easy for your friends to join you. Um, if, you're, if you're on the same network, you can just open it up as a LAN world and then anyone can join. Um, we have the reading room, uh, so that's handy. But it broke single player commands, which was just such a fantastic tool. And after that happened, I I kind of stopped building anything big like this in Minecraft, just because it's so much work to fly around in creative, only able to uh, reach you know a few blocks in front of you. The Albert Jones Memorial Stage, um, and uh, so that's. Uh, that was kind of the golden age for me of building in, in, in Minecraft was when single player commands worked and uh, and when World Edit worked because World Edit broke at that point too. And I know Seth Bling, um, I guess there's no record there, the lounge. I know Seth Bling made Bling Edit, which kind of duplicates some of the uh, capabilities of World Edit. Um, I haven't played with that. I probably should. It would probably take away a lot of my complaints. But, you know, it's just it's fun to complain sometimes about things. Especially when uh, um, you don't actually know how to fix them. I'm sure everyone else uh, has experienced that as well. You know. Um, so just give me my moment here. Uh, this is a restaurant, as you can see, with a bar and all the uh, tables sitting up here. Here we have some garden seating. Man, it's just a lot of fun to, to plan out structures like this, again, at, at a real human scale. Um, that's just another row of uh, boxes up there overlooking the theater. Um, and I think, is there one more place in here that I wanted to go to? Here you can kind of see the um, uh, the the garden and kind of the covered walkway leading over towards that other structure, which is kind of like a community center. Um, I'm not really sure what you would call it in real life. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything more good here. So let's get out of here and then we'll, we'll go over there to the garden in the middle. Um, <clears throat> okay. Oh, there's a hedge maze that I built. I really love the sound that it makes when you walk on another brick. I don't know if that's a new thing, but it's just a really cool noise to me. Um, I'm not going to make you go through the hedge maze. That, uh, that won't make for good internet content, but if you haven't built a hedge maze in Minecraft before, um, you're, really, uh, you're really letting yourself down because it's a lot of fun. I remember uh, making my sister uh, go through this back in the day when I built it. 
Um, and she's someone who doesn't play video games at all. So I had to like explain to her how WASD works and how to move the mouse to look around. Um, and it's, that's something that's really interesting too, from kind of like a, uh, a game design standpoint, um, taking into account control schemes. You know, it's second nature for us to use WAS and D and, you know, strafe to move uh, left and right if we want to. Um, but for someone who doesn't play video games and isn't used to uh, moving around at all like that, um, it's 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 not easy at all. I guess this is like a little launch jetty for boats, but I don't have any boats. Um, I also remember that there is a little secret hideaway uh, under the waterfall in here. So this is, uh, I guess, where you can sleep if you're some kind of secret gardener. Oh, the door worked. Okay, good. Let's time to load this map up. Only the top half of the door is in here. Um, but uh, it's it's fun also to make not just buildings in Minecraft. And I guess this video is kind of just turning into, why is Minecraft so fun? Why is it cool? Why am I still playing it, you know, eight years later? Um, and I suppose the answer is you can make buildings like that. But you can also make really cool natural areas like this, where you know, I tried to make this as naturalistic looking as possible, and I feel like I kind of succeeded in that. Um, you know, we got little miniature biomes over there with kind of the marsh here, lily pads and the reeds, and then over there, the spruce trees, and here this nice little uh, uh, garden pond here. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and I feel like there aren't that many other games that offer you that kind of freedom to just make whatever you want. And uh, with single player commands and world edit, it was really easy also to uh, to make large structures like this. Um, this one's a little bit emptier inside. I don't remember exactly what I was trying to make here. Um, but again, it just kind of strikes me as maybe like a city hall or a community center of some kind. Um, a lot of these rooms are empty. Uh, I mainly just wanted to try to make something with different building materials than I was used to using, which is why I used the uh, the iron. I think those are stone slabs up there, the nether brick. And I really like the uh, the aesthetic of it. I think it works. These symbols up here aren't necessarily supposed to represent anything. They're just kind of like the symbol of this people, I guess. Um, if we come over here, uh, there's stair towers on each corner of the building. Um, and... Uh, They'll take us up here to the second story. Uh, and some of these rooms up here do have things in them. I seem to remember that I had villagers... Oh, like a piano. <laughs> I had villagers tied up in here with leashes. I don't know if um, they despawned or if they removed the ability to imprison them like that. But there's no one left in here now, um, unfortunately. That's the same room. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? These are just little like reading slash study areas, I guess. I was in college at this point in my life, so you gotta have uh, you gotta have study rooms in your in your libraries. Um, it's pretty fun looking across the uh, the way at that theater over there. Um, and those are the stair towers in the theater, if you'll recall. Um, but. Uh, yeah, so this is this building, and then you can come up here. Each of the stair towers also has um, uh, kind of a viewing platform up here. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah. So we can see what else is going on in this world. Let's go look at that, actually, while we're up here, because I don't remember what it is. Oh, I can't get out. Oops. Uh, I can't get out anywhere. I don't think so. No, I can't. Okay, I'll have to walk down. So here we are, I built it a human scale, and now I have to uh, follow the rules and and actually exit through the uh, through the doors. I hope this staircase doesn't make anybody dizzy, I apologize if it does. Um, uh, ba -ba -ba. We're going to go ahead and start jumping. I think I've noticed in some of these worlds as well that hunger doesn't function when you reload them from the old uh, from the old maps. I don't know why that is, but like I haven't lost any hunger yet. Okay, I think I was just I wanted to build a cathedral, a build a big cathedral, and I was experimenting with uh, 
different designs for that. And uh, <laughs> I don't think I actually wanted it to be as big as the floor is here. Um, I think it was more a case of, uh, um, you know, world edit lets me select an area as big as I want. And so that's how big I selected it. Um, I guess that facade had some like uh, floor plan or floors laid down behind it. So that's interesting. Uh, let's see if I can get down from here without killing myself. Oh, am I going to use some hunger now to heal? No, I didn't. Okay. Um, this gold and lapis uh, black over here is the spawn room. So if you die, that's where, you're spawn, where you will spawn. Um, I don't know what these are. I guess I was experimenting with columns or something. And I don't know why there are holes here. Maybe I was dropping TNT off of them. This was uh, a mansion that I was going to build. Um, oh, I think I planned out the rooms with lapis and then built on top of them. And I, I think I was going to label what each room was going to be. Oh, no. Really? It has to rain? Oh, gosh. I have wool and I have wood. Okay, I'll just go ahead and make a crafting bench. And then a bed. And I'll sleep. Gosh, what am I doing? You guys are going to think I'm some kind of like Minecraft frog. Okay. Oh, I've never seen that message before. Because <laughs> you can't leap across your room into the bed. Oh, I thought that wasn't going to work. All right. We're up here in the second level of my opulent manor. Um, that, I think, was just a practice for the walkway there in the middle. Okay, so we've got G for what I'm guessing is great room. Dining, kitchen... Let's see, and that's unlabeled. Well, there you have it. Grand ambitions, not a lot of execution. Uh, but we've all been there. We've all been there, you know. I want to take a look at this over here because I think this is related to an adventure map that I was making. I had this fantastic adventure map, which I would like to maybe come back to one day. I thought this was. Oh, this is where you, you walk. Wait, what? I'm really confused. I feel like there should be redstone in here, but there's not. What do we have here? What are these chambers? So I had this awesome uh, map idea uh, for an adventure map, and I actually built a lot of it, um, but I never finished it. I have no clue what this is. Maybe I'm just remembering wrong what it's for. Um, but anyway, my map idea was kind of like a dream sequence where you're dreaming and you have to escape the dream. Um, but every uh, every part of the map would be kind of like a puzzle that you have to solve. And after you solve that part, you would uh, go to sleep and wake up somewhere else. Um, and uh, one of the sequences was you're on a research station um, and uh, you're in the nether. Um, but I cut away as much of the nether as I could, again, with world edit. Um, that's probably why I didn't actually finish the map because World Edit broke when the when Minecraft updated. Um, but uh, I, I cut away most of the Nether so that it was just you know flat red Nether brick like Mars would be, and obviously with some hills and stuff because Mars has hills and mountains, um, bigger hills and mountains than we have uh, on Earth actually. Um, and um, so you were in a research station there that was uh, kind of like an iron. Uh, uh, kind of kind of shaped like that, like a cigar research station uh, style thing, cigar shaped. And I suspect that's what that was for. Um, this is for another map that I was going to make where I wanted to make an RPG um, in, uh, in Minecraft with command blocks. It was right when command blocks first came out. And I wanted it to be like an open world style RPG. I actually used... World Painter, another fantastic Minecraft tool, which I have no idea if it still works, to make the map. Um, and it was huge. It was enormous. But I loved the way that it came out. And um, this was uh, going to be kind of the aesthetic of one of the cities. So it was going to be like a steampunk uh, style of, uh, of thing. So there were going to be 
railway stations that you could go to uh, and purchase tickets from the clerks that would take you to um, the different uh, different cities just you know to kind of act as a fa fast travel system so you wouldn't have to walk around if you didn't want to um, to get to the different parts of the map um, and so that's what this was it was kind of like a test of the aesthetic of it or maybe like a uh, I actually still like this um, uh, maybe like a template that I could copy and just place in the different cities I wanted to. Um, and that fell apart just because, oh my gosh, it's a lot of work to make something like that. <laughs> um, so this is a, this is a tour of, uh, of the world, and I hope that this was enjoyable for some of you. If you have any memories of uh, single-player commands or any stories of uh, projects that you started and then abandoned, um, let me know uh, in the comments just so that I know I'm not the only one who... Uh, uh, maybe had big vision, but no follow through. <laughs> um, and of course, uh, anybody that wants to talk about Minecraft, uh, again, leave a comment, and I'll be happy to uh, be happy to continue the conversation below. Thank you very much for watching.